In this video, we will discuss PUA Win32 Packen1 and the ways to remove it. First, please subscribe to our channel to receive updates and the latest guides. PUA Win32 Packen1 is a detection for malware that operates on computers and even in network environments. Software detected with this alias has a poor reputation and therefore computer security experts do not advise installation or if so, removal is highly recommended. This malware is known as a potential undesirable application that can install an additional threat from a remote server. Carefully execute the procedures on this video to successfully remove PUA Win32 Packen1. First, let us proceed to automatic removal using Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner is an anti malware, system cleaner, and anti ransomware. It is an effective tool to get rid of harmful malware, including adwares, viruses, and unwanted programs. To download Combo Cleaner, please click the link in the description. After downloading Combo Cleaner, proceed with its installation in the same manner as you would with other programs. Make sure that it runs automatically after the installation. Combo Cleaner starts by downloading updates and then proceeds with the scan. Automatic removal of the adware or PUP requires the premium version of Combo Cleaner. The premium version will not only remove the detected threats, but also protect your computer from malware attacks. Before we begin, make sure that you are logging in with an administrator account. To check for this, press Windows key and R on your keyboard. Then type net PL Wiz in the field, click OK, or press Enter on your keyboard. The user accounts window will display. It will show if the current account is an administrator. After confirming that your account is an admin, we can now go ahead to the procedures. It is important that you note the detected harmful files on your computer. We will need to remove them later. You may take a screenshot of it or write it down. The adware or PUP file and location on your computer could be different than my example. Next, we will boot Windows in safe mode with networking. During safe mode, the adware may not load most of its components, making it easier to delete. To begin, press Window key plus R on your keyboard. You will see a Run dialog box. Type msconfig in the field and click OK. In the System Configuration window, click on the Boot tab. Under the Boot options, click on Safe Boot and select Network. Click on the Apply button and OK to restart Windows. After booting Windows in safe mode, we will now uninstall suspicious programs. Press the Windows key plus R on the keyboard. In the Run dialog box, type appwiz.cpl. Next, arrange the programs in chronological order to see the most recently installed programs. Select the adware or a suspicious program. Click the Uninstall button to remove it from Windows. After the Uninstall procedure, please close the Programs and Features window and proceed to the next step. Next, we will need to delete malicious files that Windows Security cannot delete. Open the File Explorer. On the top menu, click the View tab. Select Show from the list and activate Hidden Items. 
proceed to the location of the detected adware file earlier. The file detected on my computer could be different than the one on your device. Once you locate the detected file, delete it. Now, we will delete the temporary files under your account. Go to C, Users, your username, app data, local, and temp folder. Select all the files in this folder and delete them. If there are files left undeleted, it is normal and could be related to File Explorer. Next, we will delete the Windows Defender scan history, which may include malicious files that were quarantined. Go to C, Program Data, Microsoft, Windows Defender. You can delete the quarantine folder or just the files inside it. Proceed to the scans folder and then history, then results folder. Delete all items inside it. Go back to the History folder and open the Service folder. Delete all files inside it. You can now close File Explorer and proceed to the next step. Proceed to the official website and download ADW Cleaner. When the download completes, run the adwcleaner.exe file. In the ADW Cleaner window, click on the settings on the sidebar. Turn on some basic repair actions as shown in the video. Next, go back to the dashboard and start scanning the computer. Make sure to delete identified adware or PUP and basic repair is applied. After the scan, please close the ADW Cleaner program. Lastly, we will now exit safe mode and start Windows normally. Press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. In the Run dialog box, please type MS Config. Click OK or press Enter on the keyboard to open System Configuration. In order to boot Windows normally, please select Normal Startup from the selection. Click Apply and then OK. If the prompt appears, click the Restart button. We hope that this tutorial has helped you remove the adware or PUP from the computer. Please hit subscribe and like to support this channel. Thank you for watching.